Oh, no. All right, today is Homestead Shadow Day. Je Jesse Yay. is elected to spend the day with me Yay. and do what I do in a day, which we're gonna like really pile it on. I've thought of all these things, however much time we have that we can crunch into that and just uh, share as much of my Yay. activities with her. So Yay. Jesse's gonna milk the goats this morning, but first I feed the baby goats. So let's set down the, Yay. set down your soapy water. I just set it by the stanchion there. And we're gonna get the little guys some food. So grab um, the little clear container there and open up that, that is oh, black. <laughs> She's coming to say hi. That's Gamma. She's the easiest milker, but she is kind of rowdy. So that's black oil sunflower seeds. And we're gonna give the boys like fill it up to, Dump, I'll tell you when. Dump that out. No, all of it. Just what? keep dumping. Oh, no, 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 no. Fill Maybe. it up to like there. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then we're gonna get them some, and you can leave that open because we're gonna give the girls that too. And then, so this is the grower feed. So get that almost full, and then we're gonna top it off with grains. Yep, and then just top it off with grains. That's whole um, whole wheat, whole barley, and whole oats. And so this is what the little guys eat. They look excited. They are excited. It's their favorite time of day, Jess. Look at the girls, they're following you. They're like, hey, hey, that's my food. <laughs> Come milk me. Get me my food. Look at them little guys, they are excited. Okay, so this is kind of tricky because they like to get their face in the way. So I usually kind of shake it over here and then I dump it. I do it. It gets on their head too every time I do it because they put their head right in there. There you go. All right. They're set. They have hay, water, grains. How do you want? We dump it. Oh, okay. We just dumped it the other day. Or I'll get in there with my hand and scoop out the oak tassels. Nope, this one's different. So fill up a whole scoop of black oil sunflower seeds. Which is in there. Yep. A whole scoop. Yep. And divide it between the two. Between the two. Yep. Okay. And then a whole scoop of alfalfa pellets. These? Yep. And same thing, divide it between the two. Gamma, you are such a crazy goon. Mm -hmm. And then each of them get a whole scoop of grains, but one of them gets a scoop and a half. And that's only because I can't milk her quicker than she eats. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets a little more. Nice. Okay, your okay. scoop and a half one, put it in the cabinet. And then this scoop, uh, dump it in her bowl on the stanchion. And she's ready. Oh yeah, we're ready. Okay. I don't know how to squeeze them. You don't have to yet, I'll show you. Just wash, that's good, perfect. Okay. Hot soapy water, then dry off. You'll wanna dry your hands off. It is easier to milk when your hands aren't slipping and sliding everywhere. Okay, okay. so first thing we're gonna do. You sit here, right? Yep, and I'm gonna sit on this side just to show you. So watch my hand. You're gonna pinch here, that's pinching the milk down into her teat and release. But our first spray, hold on, our first spray you wanna go Okay, we always get our first wrap because there's no better. This one, so you're pinching it and then releasing. And just make sure you're not pulling down. I don't know. You'll get it, just keep trying. There you go. And it is hard to aim. Now, when I first started, I had to keep regripping like that. Oh, I see. You don't have to pull down. Nope. And see, you feel it kind of refilling in your hand. Oh, I think that's okay. right, but I can't with my left, I guess. You got okay. it. That's it. 
You just gonna walk next to us to scare Jesse? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've milked, we got yeah. the boys fed. We're gonna get our milk strained, put it in the fridge. That's important to get in the fridge as quick as possible. Then I let the boys off of their chores this morning because we had kind of a late night baseball game and I knew Jess was coming. So we'll get all the other chores. That, those are some big old stocks. This is wild asparagus. Ooh. Same as what you grow in your yard, but yeah. it grows along the sides of the road. So, okay, we've got our milk. This is when we strain it. So I have a clean half gallon, and I'll do it at this side and let you do it. Have a clean half gallon mason jar and our strainer. So this is three pieces. It's got the funnel. This is the actual material that will strain it. And it goes through these. So you just put it all together. So you could essentially use the funnel for other things too. But this is what keeps any hair, debris, bugs, anything that we could have picked up in the barn. Now you'll want to kind of dump slow, let it fill up, and then let it go on through. Oh, I see the hair. Yeah. There you go. You can you can fill it. I just sometimes get a little carried away when I'm dumping it. <laughs> it goes <laughs> over. Yeah. It happens. And then I put the date on it and the lid. Jess is a beast this morning. She's I'm milked the goats, fed the babies, straining the milk. Next, we're gonna get bread started and feed all the other animals Yay. that the boys got to sleep in on. All right, so now we're gonna make our bread. We're gonna get we're gonna get the hot water going. Fill this up. We need a cup of warm water. No, just warm. My kitchen's kind of a mess. We had a late night last night and. I didn't get it all cleaned up. We were rendering beef tallow. So everything was kind of still a mess. Okay. okay, so we're gonna take a two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. So dump your one cup in there. <coughs> Here. Yep, there's two. Okay, so there's a teaspoon and a quarter, so two and a quarter teaspoon yeast. And a third cup of sugar. Two and a if you're anything like me, that'll be everywhere. I'm the messiest. <laughs> Got it. Sometimes Glenn is like, how do you make so much mess doing something so simple? Then I usually take a fork and just kind of mix that up a little bit. And then we're gonna we're gonna watch the time. I'll set a timer. 10 minutes, that's good. Uh, time. That's good, Jess. Just enough to incorporate it all. We'll let that sit for 10 minutes. And then this is gonna go from looking like that to being bubbly and at that point we'll add in our other ingredients and start uh, we'll put the dough hook on and start kneading it sounds good all right so that's our 10 minutes so we're gonna do four cups of flour oh here let me show this is fizzy now you can see the difference four cups four cups yep and then three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons vegetable oil. So let me get out the tablespoon. I don't know what I got. Oh, I did. Yeah, you got one. No, that's a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. There's your quarter. Oh, you want three. Yep. Of these. Come on. So one of my goals when we 
began this lifestyle was I wanted to be able to make our own bread. And my first recipe was good. I thought it was great. And then I found this recipe and I realized I was really missing out. So this so far has been my go-to recipe. In fact, the other day, I added cinnamon and sugar and raisins to it. Oh, that looks good. And made a cinnamon, uh, cinnamon sugar raisin, what do they call it? Raisin, cinnamon raisin bread. And it turned out pretty darn tasty. And then two tablespoons of oil. I like this recipe a lot because it doesn't call for 100 ingredients. It's nothing that is hard, uh, like gonna spoil, stuff like that, other than the yeast, obviously, but that's everything. It's stuff that I would normally have around. I like that a lot. Now we're gonna bring the oops, kitchen aid over here. I thought I was gonna need to buy a bread machine to make bread. And I realized that's not the case. And I didn't need an extra huge contraption on my sink or on the counter. So I had the KitchenAid and that's really all that I need. And actually you don't even need this. You could easily need it in your own, but this takes a lot of time out. So what I'm gonna do here, locked it, put it, do you have a KitchenAid? Mm -mm. I Christmas try. is coming. <laughs> I just put on a low setting, set my timer again for 10 minutes, oh, and nice. it will begin pulling together like a dough, and then we let it rise. Awesome. Okay, Easy. it has went for 10 minutes, so now what I usually do if I'm only making one loaf is I'll reuse this instead of getting it in a different container. So pull that out. Counters are clean. Um, kind of knead it into a ball. Do I need to off the counter? That's how I do it. I usually go, I'll show you. I usually push and roll, push and roll. Like that, just into a ball. And then uh, we'll spray this. Just some kind of oil, it doesn't have to be spray. I just, Is that sure? like, yep. And then put your dough back in there and we'll cover it. And then I put it under the counter for an hour. So we'll set a timer while we go feed the other animals and let this rise to double in its size. That's that. Uh, yep, that one, uh, left corner. Two scoops of their layer pellets, and then they also have diatomaceous earth in there, and we're gonna let them free range today. We have three different coops. We don't free range them together, but today's gonna be their day. And it looks like they have water, so I usually just dump out the nasty, let it refill with fresh, and they're good. Now we'll go get the Rhode Islands. The Easter eggers, they're and enjoying their food so we'll dump out this one gonna dump that one gonna dump the water yeah just what's just what's in the tray there we go and then i'll go collect eggs and we'll feed the roost the uh rhode islands all right so we went to feed the rabbits there you go. And get under it. You got it. Oh, my back. <laughs> we went to feed the rabbits and they were out of food, of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did it come open? No. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> it's okay, I'll get it. So we got to fill up their feeders. Oh, You're fired. That's I it. Am. Those are our does that are bred, and then the ones in the back are the bucks. They have a bowl. Oh, they have a bowl? Oh, do I put it in there? Oh, the bucks. One. Yeah, just the bucks. Woo! That's muddy. Yeah. Somebody has been dumping waters there. We usually dump them outside. Is this one a buck, too? Yeah. 
and then the cages they're like come on give us our food the cages with the the grow out rabbits will fill their feeders because okay. the goal is for them to get big but see if we overfeed our bucks and overfeed our does what happens then is they get fat and lazy and they don't want to uh, they don't want to breed they don't want to take care of their babies that kind of thing so they're on a strict okay. diet all right get your bread out where i don't even remember it's hiding. Hide and seek. so this is technically when you would punch it down just beat it yeah, just beat it up it's like no uh we're gonna let it go for a second rising but if you were just gonna punch it down, you would just do that. But we're going to actually roll it out and put it in our oh, pan. Roll it with the rolling pin. So what you wanna do is push it and you're kinda of looking for air bubbles at the same time. But we're looking for it to be about as thick as this and we're gonna roll it that way. So just kind of shape it to kind of like a rectangle. It's not gonna be perfect. And we're gonna spray or grease, however, whatever product you wanna use, our um, loaf pan and our plastic wrap. You say you want it as wide as this? Roughly. Not this way. This way? Yeah, roughly. So this can be smashed out? Yep. And if you need more room, you can move it in. Bread. There you go. But that I didn't. That's got breadcrumbs, sorry. Am I in there? Oops. Yep. Is that alright? Yep. Okay. So now you're going to start down here and you're going to tightly pinch and roll all the way and then we'll put it right in your loaf pan. All the way across, I guess. Yep. Oh, looky there. Now you're gonna, yep, kind of fold in your ends just like that, and then make your seam down and put it in your pan. Okay, there you go. And then Sweet. this side I sprayed, so okay. cover it loosely. That way it has room to rise, you're not restricting it. There you go. And then we're gonna put it right back under there. I tightened it on me, sorry. There. Put it right back under there. We'll let it rise for another hour. So in about 45 minutes, we'll start the oven. We'll put it on 350. Let that finish rising. And then we'll cook it for 30, or bake it for 35 minutes. Ooh, and you cook bread. That'd be nice. All right, her bread is rose for one hour. Thank you, Vanna. Yes, yes. Putting it in the oven. We do have the shelf rack in there lower. And then we'll set a timer for 35 minutes and we'll have a loaf of fresh bread. Okay, the bread is done. Let's check out this beauty. Oh, We're gonna convert Jess to a homemade bread maker. Yes. She's gonna fall so in love with it. And we'll get this masterpiece. She was impressed that it was so easy. Yes. And then after it cools for just a few minutes, we're gonna let it completely dry on the cooling rack. And then she has to taste her bread. She's gonna fall in love. With some butter. With some butter. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go get our soap made. Yeah. So we've been uh, warming up our tallow. Glenn and I rendered beef tallow yesterday. So we're heating it to 100 degrees, which it is. Um, we have our lye. And then we have some fresh lemon balm that Jess and I chopped up that's going to go in our soap and then our goat milk is outside and we're going to get this going we're trying a new soap recipe this is our second time making soap and today jess and i are using goat milk instead of water and tallow and lye and then we're going to add in the lemon balm and the essential oil so this Time to mix our lye with our goat soap, which is, it was frozen, uh, but we've had it set out. Go, 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 you can't be here.
There's just not a good spot for me to do this outside because she is always up in my business. When you're making soap, you have to make sure that your animals, you can't leave this unattended. I don't know what it'll do, but I assume it'll kill them. So I don't leave it sitting around. But our last few little frozen chunks here are melting. had your helping of goat milk today. Go on. All right. Now this is mixed. We'll take it inside. See that? 122. Now we have to wait. Oh, because it's too hot. Yeah. Unless this is 122, but you really want them to be 100. So we'll, we'll just, just be patient. See, I didn't have that issue last time because I put it right on the frozen goat milk and so it took forever to heat up. I'd rather wait for it to cool down. We'll just wait. All right, we are very close, like within a few degrees at the same temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this in and hope that I don't make a mess. Look at that nice milky color. I like that. Feels like a gel, does it? Mm -hmm. Last time I did a different recipe, so I'm just really hopeful that this will be great. And look, they were right about 100, so that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna use our immersion blender. I'll let you do the honors. Okay. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know what this has. You have to be very careful, I don't make a mess. Nice and lovely. Yeah. So this is a KitchenAid immersion blender. I had one that I made soap with last time. It didn't even make it through the first soap making process and it it quit working. So I sent it back because it was obviously junk, but it did not. It wanted to fling it everywhere. This is much nicer. Go with KitchenAid. <laughs> now Jess has been pretty well hands on with everything today um, but I took over the soap because Jess doesn't uh, really want to work with lye so totally fine she's going to get the the beauty of this product anyways in four weeks that's right after it's sat and uh, the soaponification process has happened oh if you push it look at that it's got different speeds uh, then she'll get some soap. So we'll let this keep going until we reach Trace. Then we're going to add in our lemon balm cuttings. And then we're going to add in lemon, lime, and lemongrass essential oils. So it will be uh, 1.5 ounces of that. Then we're going to put it in our mold. Let that sit for 24 hours. And then tomorrow, we'll get the mold out and cut it and let it sit for four weeks. It kind of suctions down, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little thicker than the gel, like the gel that I was feeling. I was mixing it. So you don't have to mix it in a certain way. Nope. You just have to make sure you know. You, know, you always go to the craft store places, you always think, you know, decided to buy it, now you can make it. It is fun to make your own stuff. All right, her bread's done. Our soap is resting, and she's gonna. First slice of bread cut. Get her a taste. That's right. 
Nope. Now don't slice all of it. Just slice what you want. So, I'll slice both. I'll slice both piece. That first all slice right. looks mighty thick. Uh oh, should I do it again? There we go. Chopping your head off trying to watch. Sorry. <laughs> Now, if you want a little plate, they're in that back cabinet to the left of the sink. First, other side. There you, there you go. Okay, we gotta butter this thing up. See what she thinks. Let's do the back end. Looks like bread at the store. Now I'm videoing, so you have to be honest. You have to decide if you like store-bought bread better or your homemade bread better. This is way better. You're not lying? Hmm. Okay, okay, so she's sold. Jeremy, I have footage. She's making you homemade bread. She's sold. From now on. <laughs> Just don't let yourself feel guilty if you buy store-bought bread. It's okay. But on occasion, you at least have to make some homemade bread. This is good. We are going to crack some eggs. Get them blended up and then throw them in the freeze dryer. And we'll rinse and cook our eggshells. And now that the garden is planted, these eggshells will be blended up into a powder for the chickens. Which I usually just kind of keep collecting the rinsed eggshells. But since we're going to be cracking like 76 eggs, we're going to go ahead and do that all at once today. We have both on there, yeah. We have to count. One, four, two, three, four, yeah. It's 40 eggs. So now we'll go get the freeze dryer started. And let's probably put this in here. That way we can blend another 40 eggs. I think 76 is what fit in there last time. So we'll do just, just below that 64 ounce mark. And then we'll get these in the freeze dryer. I need a friend over every day. So you can get a lot done? Yeah. Well, it's a lot more have fun. Have a play date. Yeah, it's a lot more fun when you have someone here like talking with you. I enjoy it anyways, I just don't get this much done in one day. Yeah. 